So, hi, this is a really cool thing that I was just thinking about today and I thought, I wonder if I can pull this off. And so it's actually a video um, that I am going to make through Instagram. I don't even know if there's a real word or name for this, but I'm going to call it a falling video. I'm sure there's probably a more realistic name, but that's what I'm going to call it. Oh, in videos, I'm looking for something. Oh, this is great. This is perfect. So this is a waterfall. Let me turn this down. And I'm going to crop it. Actually, let me, I'm going to duplicate it three times. That's one too many. And then I'm going to crop them about a third ways. So this one, I'll crop it to maybe here. And then this one, I'm going to crop it and get that middle section out. You can kind of tell what the height is. This one goes to 317. This one goes to... I'll make it 317. If you really want to get mathematical, you can probably figure out the whole length of it. And for now, I'm just going to line this up and then take the bottom third of it, which doesn't look right. So let me go up a little more on these. I like how it just lines it up for you. And then I'm just going to arrange them separately. See how that looks. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's got three different videos, but they're the same video going at once. So you can change the different space in between. I think I'd like them to be a little closer. And then highlight them all and group them together so I can Space it out. And I'm going to change this one. Move it up just a little. Oops. I have to ungroup it first. But I noticed that this one's just not perfectly lined, and that's just going to drive me crazy. So I'm fixing it. Okay. And then I'll just group them back together and then change the background color. to maybe my brand color. And then some elements I'm gonna put behind some texture. So something like waterfallish, maybe plants that I can put a texture behind. Like this one. And then I'm going to send that to the back. And then I am going to take the transparency down just a little and maybe change the color. Let's see how it looks in white. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. So I'll duplicate that and move it this way to make it look like it goes all the way across and send it back to. And then I didn't really think this ahead of time. Bother me. Not perfect. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to put something, some kind of text maybe in the middle saying um, a cute quote like. Okay, so Bob Ross actually has a quote that says. Something like just let go. I actually literally just Googled it. Just let go and fall like a little waterfall. Just let go and fall like a little 
a little fall like a waterfall. You definitely want to be as accurate as possible with your quotes because you want to have that clout when it comes to design that people are going to be able to trust your page, that you're going to have the most accurate and correct information, even just Googling this. I kind of feel funny about it. I don't always Google it. I try and find the original source or if I see something that I watched on TV, then I'll try to I'll like literally record it and put the exact word for word because I want to have that type of credit, I guess. So, but I'm just doing this for the sake of this video. Just let go and fall like a waterfall. You can get really creative with this, like change the way the words look. And I've done that in a, in a previous video. Um, put an element here for the background. And this is all pro, guys. I'm sorry. I don't use the free version. I do pay for it because you get all this really cool stuff that I just feel like would hold me back and make me sad if I didn't have had it. So I want to change that color to my brand colors. I always say do everything in your brand colors and then I like to put a transparency behind it. I don't know. If you find a video that goes wide all the way across, it probably would look a lot cooler. But since this one was uh, different, I just don't know how well. Plus I like the the uh, watermark print type thing in the background. So that's all. I'm really curious to see how creative you guys can get with this. Let's just watch it and see how it looks. That's so cool. You have to mess with the edges just to line them up just perfectly so that they don't look like this. You know how it's all choppy. I bet if you lined them up just right, it'll look a lot better. So anyway, that's that. This is the moving waterfall piece tutorial. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, but thanks for watching.